I trained back in the late 70s, early 80s. Most of our attendings who taught us the craft of surgery would say, make a big incision. We're here to fix things on the inside. We're not worried about the incision itself. And as a result, there were a lot of wound complications, but those were just accepted as a fact of life. From a technical point of view, in order to take out the section of the colon that has the disease and particularly cancer, you need to obtain what's known as adequate margins. You need to have enough colon that is free from disease above and below that area. With open surgery, you have to make a very large incision so that you can see down into that area. Every time you have an incision for any type of procedure, you have to heal. And that healing process can potentially be complicated by a lot of factors. Everybody has different pain tolerances. The more of an operation that somebody has to undergo, the need for pain medication increases. Minimally invasive surgery started to become more widespread 20 years ago as the younger generation embraced this technology. With the camera, we're able to find an area like that. And look we at put it. a camera in through a little incision about 10 millimeters in diameter. And by doing the surgery through smaller incisions, the patients have much less post-operative pain and they recover that much quicker overall. I'm talking about getting back to their normal life that they had. And they're able to go on to the second phase of their treatment and tolerate that better. Psychologically, the faster the patient can get through their treatment and get back to their normal life. I think that provides a tremendous advantage in terms of quality of life, overall survival. What we're looking for Laparoscopic is colon surgery is considered advanced laparoscopic procedure. There is a certain advanced skills that you need to have to be able to perform the procedure safely and successfully. There are situations where laparoscopy does not provide a significant advantage to the patient. Therefore, you have to make a decision as to what's best for the patient. There's no question that if you have the ability to do minimally invasive surgery, you should consider it. So when people get better quickly and they can move on and get back to where they were beforehand, I just think that it's, uh, that, that's very satisfying for us. And then